Welcome to Cub Chat Live. This is a weekly show for Cub Scout families, new Cub Scout leaders, and anyone looking to make the youth serving programs in the Boy Scouts of America, well, uh, awesome. If you're listening to the audio version of today's show, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. If you're watching live with us today, please comment along in the live chat and be sure to check out our audio version of the show wherever you listen to podcasts. Yes, we're a podcast too. Check it out. Okay, here we go. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Cub Chat Live. This is a topic I'm really excited about. We were lucky enough to get a little bit of a preview of the Cub Scout handbooks in our Cub Chat Live primetime episodes, but today we're taking a little more of a look at those. We are joined by our wonderful, she's more than a host, she's a brainchild. <laughs> Hello, Audrey. Oh, you're always so sweet. Thank you. It's wonderful to be with you on this, on, on this. Well, it's gray here. I don't know where it is there, but in, in the it's, Pacific Northwest, we got some gray going on. <laughs> that fits. That's what we would expect up there. Um, it's sunny here and it's a Friday and it feels good. And we've got something really fun to talk about. Again, we're talking about the handbooks today, the new Cub Scout handbooks and leader resources related to the program updates. I'm not going to talk a lot because we've got some really cool stuff to jump right in. Guys, we're seeing your comments. Keep those shout outs coming. Um, without much further ado, Audrey, let's dive in. Okay. All righty. I'm so excited. Yeah, one of the comments said that the the uh, leader resources are going to be one of the exciting parts that I have to agree with them. But uh, but before before that part, I got ahead of myself. I'm excited about the handbook. So the question, yeah, yeah the, the big questions? question. Can I ask it? Yeah, yeah. I want to do the, the honor of being the voice of the people who are like the biggest question: When will we get them? And what's different about them? Right, right. And, and you get a lot of comments like, are they exactly the same? Because some of the words, you know, some of the titles and things are the same. Um, and the answer is, um, as we've posted before, we will be getting them in the spring, uh, which we had on the on the rollout chart, likely between the March and April side is probably going to be tad more towards the April side. Uh, they are in the printer. They're in the printer being uh, also being bound. And then as soon as they can be shipped out to scout shops, that's when they arrive. So they're on the way. They're all complete they're you know in the process of being printed so that's very exciting uh, the requirements except for those who are doing day camps and a few other things will not be released um, officially uh, without the context of the handbook and the den or the den meeting resources so um, just that's another question we always get whether those being released those are not being released officially uh, except for those few exceptions without the context that we think you need to to work with those things uh, with the exception we've already released summertime fun and um, so that's that's the exciting thing. And we released a few of the bobcats and things in the in the um, requirements in the previous shows. So um, with the new systems, I think you're going to find planning is going to be an absolute breeze. And so we'll get to that in a minute. But um, so what are those handbooks? Are they the same, or what do they look like? That's that's what we can talk about right now in this second segment. Yeah, so we think, could actually peek inside. Let's do. Let's do. So okay, behind, yeah. Yeah, we go. So this is a, the new handbooks, what they're going to be look, looking like. Um, and what you can see is that the grades are on the front so that you can tell each year has its own grade. So so that makes Weeblos and Arrow of Light a separated program where they have their own grade. Fourth grade is Weeblos, fifth grade is Arrow of Light. One of the fun improvements is, that was by popular request was the names are going to be on the front. So there, that is exciting <laughs> for a lot of folks that search for handbooks uh, off and on. Whose is this? So uh, that gives us an opportunity to do that. The handbooks are the youth facing um, materials. So it's they're designed to be age appropriate. And while they look very similar in, in concept to what they are, everything that has to do with requirements has been changed. Some of the content might be similar because, you know, basically you could you tie a knot a certain way or, or you, you, you do some of those kinds of things. So that kind of content might be similar, but all requirements have been changed and updated to the new fun, simple and easy, making it more clear, making it more fun, making it more concise so that you can deliver the program easily, um, have other people help you deliver the program easily. And we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so this is kind of the overview of what it, what it is now. The lion and the tiger handbooks are quite a bit uh, bigger in size. They have more meat to them. So that's an improvement. Uh, the, the rest of the other ones are about the same size as, as they currently are. Um, 
And the thing to know is there's now an adult partner guide instead of a den leader guide for the lions and tigers because that is who accompanies them to the meetings. So this gives them a much more information on um, uh, uh, how to be an adult partner <laughs> and what's expected of, of an adult partner and how you can help um, work together as a den to, to work through the environments. It gives you them also the resources they need, like how exactly how, you know, how to do that. So that is um, a little bit of a, a, a difference from what used to be called the den leader guide. And that was confusing to them because they were, were not a den leader, they were an adult partner. So this makes it more clear and, and uh, concise. And so those two will be packaged together for the lions and the tigers. So that is a change and an improvement. So let's look inside some of those. Uh, the younger ones had the most changes um, as far as style. So this is a sample of what the um, lion um, handbook would look like. And the characters are from Scouting Magazine that they're already familiar with, this comic strip characters. And it clearly shows the path so for an age appropriate level so that they, they understand what they're working on and how, what they're eventually getting to, which is the lion badge on the end there. So they're starting with Bobcat, which is the character and leadership, and they can even color it in and do whatever they want to show their progress down the, the lion trail. And it's a trail to get to the lion badge. Um, it has some really fun uh, characters, and I especially love the uh, differently abled character in there too. So it just is, it feels very inclusive and, and uh, fun. Lots and lots of fun. I, can I ask you a question here? Because I remember seeing this and, and you had an answer I really liked. I think we see like looking even on the outside of the Lion Handbook, it's more, it looks a little more cartoony, right? Right, right. And so in Cub Scouting, we have a huge uh, developmental uh, leaps happening um, between the ages that we have in each of these grades. And so in the younger grades, they, they like more of a cartoon style. It makes it more fun, more relatable, not scary. Um, we'll show a, a little further how that progresses to, to basically to air of light. They want it straight up, you know, no fluff. Tell me, tell me, uh, tell me what I need to do. And so uh, you, there's a huge developmental leaf uh, leap at wolf age. And, and we'll see that in the handbooks when we get to the next few pages that, that the style is drastically different. So in the lion's group, it's much more um, warm and friendly and inclusive and fun. Not that the others aren't fun, but the drawings are fun. <laughs> I think that that's cool. It's a fun little Easter egg for those of you who are tracking as your scouts go up the, up the ranks. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So the next uh, slide shows some of the content inside. And so it'll be some varied content uh, for the, for this age group. It's the, they do more um, matching and hands on and things like that. And this is like the content for some of the requirements. So ready, set, grow. We're learning about uh, a healthy foods and, and how we can take care of ourselves with healthy foods. And uh, healthy foods are colorful. It's a colorful plate. So you, how do you, how do you find colorful food and what do they look like and things like that? So, so this is a, a page for them to do that and at their age appropriate level. And it is, um, it, it's just fun. <laughs> it's just fun while you're learning. So the next page is. Tigers, and you can see it changes just slightly, right? It's a little less super cutesy, it's still very cute, but a little less. And so again, age appropriately, it's a little more the um, uh, looking like an actual little tiger, but he's still a stylized tiger. And they also need that, that visual of what they're working on towards a path. And um, starting with, again, the bobcat and ending with their tiger uh, badge of rank. And as they move along, they can circle it or they could color it if they want to, but it's just a little less um, uh, cutesy, but still very cute, <laughs> age appropriate. And their insides, a sample of what their inside uh, content looks like. Again, it's the same kinds of thing for, um, uh, you know, drawing smiley faces and things like that. At this age, you have different hand coordination. Some have very good hand coordination and some are still really working on this. So um, uh, all these things have been tested for age appropriateness. Um, I think we had four different universities working on making sure that we had the content where it needed to be for each of these grades. And so they're still having some fun things there, learning about tech, you know, they're learning about tech as tigers. Is, isn't that awesome? So um, that's, uh, that's, that's some of the content on the inside of those, which is, is very different. Very the next cool. one. Mm -hmm. 
I was just gonna give another little shout out to the Scout Life characters that are making an appearance there. I like the cohesiveness of the branding. If your scouts are familiar with reading Scout Life, they're gonna look in the handbooks and they're gonna see familiar characters and vice versa. Yeah, yeah. So um, it, it's just fun. And the the trail is just the things you need to accomplish on the trail with the exception of bobcat you don't have to go in that order but it just is a it's just a recommended uh, space and and uh, we everything is designed so that a leader doesn't have to deviate from the program if they don't choose to they can just do it this way do it in this order and they have a plan already ready to go if you want to switch it up switch it up but uh you you don't have to very but cool but it gives them you know i've, I've done these things so we looked at some kind of like the, the kind of crafty or like workbook elements of the handbooks here, but can we get a little more in depth and see what else is inside? Right, right. So uh, the next slide shows um, the the big leap in development is at the wolf uh, rat, rank uh, grade, and you can see it's a lot more clean, but it still has care. You know, the characters are real people. <laughs> And uh, they're doing real things like cycling, um, which we now have across all the ranks. So that's an exciting thing. In the book, this is going to be similar content to what you're used to, although it's just it's gone through that whole revision process I already talked about, about, you, you know, making it inclusive wording and concise and easy to understand uh, to do the, the various different things. And then it has a nod to some of the uh, den meeting planning resources that we're going to talk about in a second. So it has the snapshot of the overview of what that belt loop looks like for this age. Uh, their pens as they get older, but belt loop at this age. Um, the requirements on average, there's five, but this one particular one has six. Some will have fewer. Summertime fun has one. So uh, this shows you what you need to do. And then there's a QR code, and this is going to be a key. So the uh, the helper or the parent or the leader can use that QR code to go to our dead meeting resources. These will not be live once the handbooks come out until June 1st, but they will be there. And then when June 1st comes along, they'll, they'll be turned on, turned live. But this is this is the key and it will make it super easy for folks. You still can't, will be able to go through the website links to get to it, but this is gonna be much faster. So that is uh, kind of a glimpse into the wolf book. Okay. So, so on the next up. slide, it shows a bit more of some of the content. So this is going to be a similar in content to, to what you have right now. Although, as I said before, all requirements have changed. It's pretty much all requirements have changed um, and to the new formats. And so, but what you still have is the requirements, some content, and then, you know, a place to sign off that they have um, completed the adventure or the requirement for the adventure. Uh, so, and then they have like the uh, use of QR codes to get to those pamphlets. This one happens to be on Bobcat and, and it's like, there's a uh, how to protect your children from child abuse parent guide. So that QR code gets them directly to that so they can do it immediately without trying having to go in and out and around. So that that's exciting. That's, that's what the new insights will look like um, for Wolf. What a cool and, little preview. Yeah, and then the back cover is the next slide. And this is super fun. And this is gonna be very easy and nice for, for parents and leaders and everybody. The back cover has like your, your you know some of your most important things that you're gonna go through again and again and again. Um, you've got the Cub Scout sign, you've got um, the back cover is gonna have these colored tabs so that you can navigate to each adventure in the book, you know, without having to memorize pages and whatever. Um, and then the Scout Oath and the Scout Law. So if you're doing an opening ceremony, you just say, everybody flip your handbook over and we can go, you know, go through these things when they're in the younger ages and they, they don't have it memorized yet. So um, it's all right there. Uh, so that's exciting. If you wanna use that, you know, for opening, closing, whatever, that's an easy way to do it, uh, handy. So then the next slide, <laughs> shows what the Weeblos and the Arrow of Light handbooks look like. And they are, as I said earlier, they're separated now. So Weeblos has their own uh, handbook for the entire year, which is fourth grade. And the Arrow of Light has their own handbook. Theirs is a shorter program because the uh, program has been designed to be completed from um, the you know end of the school year to the end you know, of the previous school year to the January to March timeframe for crossovers. Um, and that has been worked with uh, Scouts BSA. We've worked collaboratively, collaboratively 
with them to uh, make sure we're we're hitting those deadlines that they need because the 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 crossover is um, meant to enable the biggest success for transitions into Scouts BSA, and they found that the biggest success is if the new scouts have some time to get to know their patrol, to get some training um, activities in place, and to be able to sign up for summer camp. If you miss those deadlines, your success is not as good that the scout will stay in Scouts BSA and that they may quit because they don't feel connected. It's a strange new thing. They miss summer camp. That's a really big building time, especially for um, all sorts of learning activities. And so it's built so that they have those three months to be with their troop and then go to summer camp and have the highest probability of success of staying into Scouts BSA. So that's a question we get asked often is why? <laughs> you know, why do they have to do it? They don't have to do it, no, but they it's highly, highly, highly encouraged. And on the Scout troops are all set up for that time period for to receive Scouts. You go earlier, they're not really maybe ready for you and they don't, and I know the troop I was uh, in with my sons, they they had a whole program, a whole new scout program ready to go from that time. If you're coming in and between that, that's, that's not necessarily set up. So we discourage uh, folks from trying to rush through AOL, but we, and we encourage them to try to, you know, cross over in that January to March timeframe. Um, the, second part of that handbook of air of light as i talked about we we had a whole show on this so go back and look at that whole show <laughs> <laughs> whole cup chat live but the second part of that it has the scout information uh for scouts bsa they're not allowed to work on requirements for it but it has the content so they can read ahead and be prepared and use that the, the last part of the school year so they have a full school year uh in their handbook so yeah so I know we're about to move on from handbooks. There's a few questions that have come up a few times and maybe we can't answer some of them yet. That's okay, but I'm still going to throw them your way. The first is something you've already answered, but I think for pe people who've just tuned in throughout the show, when can people expect to be able to get their hands on handbooks? Handbooks. Yes. As I said, it's, it's on our rollout chart. It's uh, spring is the official word, <laughs> which probably means uh, I'm going to guess because I don't know is going to be probably in the, more in the April timeframe. It's March to April is what we have on the chart, but really it's up to the printer and the binder how long it takes them to get through that. So I don't have that, info, like I don't you have, don't a, that's exactly. the target, right? I don't have any better information than that. And so they'll be in your scout shops as soon as possible. There is no waiting, no delaying, no anything. As soon as they are there, they're going. And uh, because we understand folks like to give them as gifts for their bridging over ceremonies or crossing over ceremonies or um, all those kinds of transitions. So, um, and for planning. And so as soon as they can, they will be there. And also everybody, I promise you, I promise you this, as soon as we know the dates, we will tell you, we have no interest in keeping that information from you when we know it, we'll tell you, promise. Totally promise, Scouts Honor. Yeah, um, they're all there. They're all in the printer. They're all done. They're just, it's just that time that it takes. <laughs> um, one one question that uh, you answered for me before the show, you said this a few times, but I'll, I'll say what I think the answer is, and then you can uh, correct me, Andre, if you want to. People are <laughs> saying, well, can we just get our hands on the requirements? And I think it's very important based on these updates that they're present, the requirements are presented in the context of the handbook. So when will you have the requirements? As soon as you have the handbooks, right? Right, right. The requirements will not be published online uh, without context. So they will be uh, published in the handbooks. And then the second part I'm going to talk about in this thing is they will be available to everybody um, without any purchase on the DEN leader or DEN meeting resources section. So uh, that's all coming and, and um, it will be fabulous. And I think everybody's going to find planning is going to be super, super easy. So we're all, I think... I think that's what we're talking about next. Yes, but I have one more question for you. I think we don't have an answer to this. I think we don't, and that's okay, but I still want to, I, I think that that in itself is an answer. Do we know how much the handbooks are going to cost? I, I do not have that data either. That's not in my zone, but I uh, do know that there's they're trying to have it very close to this, the previous cost. So again, when we know that, we will definitely let you know. Great questions, everybody. Now, there have been a bunch of questions on our next topic. We, you know, talked about the youth, but what about those planning den meetings? Are there resources for them? What do they look like? And the hot question, where will they live? Right, right. So that is, <laughs> there's a lot of, we've been getting a lot of questions on this. So 
as far as the lists of what electives are available and what requirements are, that is all on our webpage, and we'll give you the, the link to that at the end of the thing also, but it's on the program, Cub Scout program updates, and there's been massive amounts of Cub Chat lives. This is like the only one I haven't shown the chart where the six and two requirements and then the list of the electives. So I encourage people to go back and, and look at those um, on other previous Cub Chats or the website directly. We'll give you the easy share at the end of the program. But what we have are dead meeting resources. And um, we're super excited about this. It's going to be all online. There will not be a printed quote unquote uh, leader handbook on these resources because then, then we can't be agile and change and improve and add things and, and correct typos or whatever it is, you know, that th this is going to make it so much easier to keep up to date and relevant and with fun new things like we discover from the field. Maybe somebody has a fabulous way of doing something and we, we incorporate a video on how to do this. Um, so the other thing to know is that it is going to be open to all. So this is exciting because we understand that there are some struggles finding leadership or the newer generations may not want to do uh, uh, just do everything. They like a, a team environment. So it will be something where you can um, hand it over to another. They do not have to be the registered leader. The registered leader still has to be there. You still have to have all the youth protection, all that. But they do not have to do the actual um, leading of the segment. And so that they, they, this is something you could print off, show them the QR code, click over, and anybody, grandma, can take over the den training of this particular portion. So it's really, that's really exciting, actually. Um, so the way it starts, and this is a mock-up of what it's going to look like um, so that you can easily see it, is you're going to choose your rank, right? What rank are you working on? So first, then you need to, um, you choose your rank. And what we found from the data is that um, folks tend to plan on their computers ahead of time, like a week ahead of time. And then they come and they use their phone to do the last minute, you know, what, what were the instructions on that? So this is set up for that kind of, uh, that kind of environment. So you click on the rank and then the next slide is going to show you um, so we, we chose lion. And then the first thing that you're going to do uh, for all ranks, when you get together the first time, we understand summer, you're going to have electives and things like that because you'll be at camps and out doing fun things. But the first required uh, adventure is a bobcat. So there's the bobcat right there, bold. Please do this first. Then it has the list of all the required adventures and all the elective adventures on the next page. So then what you're going to do is you're going to click on the one that you would like to work on. So this is the um, a, a line adventure. So you would, you're would you going to see a snapshot of what that adventure is. It's going to explain what it is. And then we lead with safety. So because that's something you have to consider with everything you're doing before you get started on anything is what is the safety involved. And it could be just a general reminder. It could be something specific. It could be sending you to a different training course. Um, or, you know, uh, like if you're going out on your walk, you might need to take the, the weather hazards uh, training. Uh, you always need to know about the guide to safe scouting. You always need to know um, the safe checklist. And so those things are all going to be in your safety moment. So that's easy right there. You don't have to search for anything. It'll be a, a hot link to where you need to go for those certain safety uh, content. Then you have a list of the requirements. So there's four requirements here. And you're going to, uh, you see them all there and you'll see what's, what is going to do. And then for each requirement, you're going to have some activities and they're, they've been gamified into like a card. So it's kind of like, like Pokemon Go or, um, is it Ujio? Um, I don't play that one. So I'm not sure how to say that one, but it's, it's going to be like that kind of concept. So super fun and easy. So when you're planning, you're just going to go boom, boom, boom. And there you are, you'll have everything you need. Um, so I'm going to concentrate a little bit more on what did I mean by gamifying the requirements? So on this next slide, it shows, um, this is a sample. Again, this is a mock-up. Yeah, uh, we have to say that because we have a lot of grammar hammers and editors out there. Yeah, and it's going to have the Latin, right. blah, 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 blah. It's just placeholder text. <laughs> it's just placeholder text. <laughs> so this is a mock-up of what it's going to look like. So, so for requirement two, uh, you're going to do these things. And how are you going to do these things? Well, you have three choices and you choose one of them. Uh, do you absolutely have to do these? No. 
as long as you do something that fulfills that requirement. But this is to make it easy for folks to plan and not have to uh, spend a ton of time doing that. So there will be three-ish uh, uh, activities. Some things are simple enough, there, there, there might not be one, but most are gonna have about three, so you have some choices. And then there's different icons. So we're gonna choose one and then let's go look at those icons, see what they mean. So for requirement one, we chose den flag. Let's get to know the member of, of your den. Well, how are you gonna do that? We're gonna do a den flag. We're gonna make a den flag. And so there's they have four icons there and there's a special name for them. I forget in the gaming community what those are called, but <laughs> they have a name. Uh, and the first one is the outdoor, uh, the, is the location. So where is it going to be? Is it outdoors? Is it indoors? Or do you have to travel? So when you're looking at your planning, you can go, oh, I um, I have some time. I have some time. I can think about this one. We can get, a, a you know, someplace we are going to travel, someplace that's a little bit far away or someplace that's much more complicated because I have some time. Other times I have no time. I'm slammed as a, as a leader and I'm coming home and I just want to do something indoors quick and easy. So this is going to tell me what it, where it's going to be energy level <laughs> is this a high energy level or a low energy level task so they're going to be you know are they listening or are they running around and that means for the cub scout not the leader right right for the cub scout <laughs> well if they're running around you might be running around too but <laughs> but yes yeah, so what kind of energy level do do they need then the other one is supplies, and this is so exciting. Your supply list will be all there. So um, is it a, you know almost none? Like, is it a, a running game? Essentially, you go back and forth, and you really need no supplies. Or is it uh, down to something custom? So you're going to have to order ahead. You're going to have to order the supplies ahead. Um, our director says, so is this a two-trip to Home Depot thing? So it, it, those kinds of things. So so the supply list will be there um, once we dig down here. And this gives you an overview of like how many supplies are you going to need? And then prep time. How long is it going to take you? So all this information is in on like an activity card. And um, right now it's all digital, but you know, who knows what the future holds, but uh, the, so that, that it's, it's like a game. It's like you, you choose your card, you choose your Pokemon card, and that's what you're going to work on. A uh, audience loves this, and I totally agree. This page especially is my favorite, where you can kind of just get a real quick feel for, hey, how how intense is this one? Right, right. So then let's look at that a little bit, the back side, right? This is the front side. So what's the see the details? So the see the details then show you this particular one is a sample mock-up. Again, <laughs> sample mock-up. Um, it will look likely slightly different. Uh, how to protect your child. So they have a snapshot activity. It tells you all the... Um, information of, you know, all those icons of what they're going to do gives you the supply list right there. Boom. All done. And then it's going to give you, if there are any, some additional resources. So maybe there's a how-to video. Um, maybe there is the actual video because this is the parent guide, but um, uh, the uh, it and it shows, it's going to show you all the potentially if there's worksheets or samples or pictures and videos. And this is what we intend on building on um, as as we can, as we have more time, because right now we're just getting the structures in place and the things in place. But, you know, so I would not say that like the video section is going to be overly robust, but because it's online, we can make it more robust in the future. So um, so those are some some great things to make this a, either an agile thing, but super easy for planning. And you just really you're just going to pick your card and you're going to go get your supplies and you're going to do it. And if you can't do it, you either, you know, send the QR code to your helper, a grandparent, another parent, um, an outside person. Um, do you, you hand them the card, essentially. You could print it off or you can um, just give them the QR code and they can do this. Really, they can do this. So this is this is going to be great. So that we're has to very, be, very, very excited about this. I think that in practice, that's going to be a big relief to so many den leaders. I'm sure you've been in a spot where you're like, I can't make it tonight. And, you know, I can leave this other leader in charge, but have this other activity planned. I don't know how to communicate to them all the things that they're going to need. I mean, this makes it easy. Fun, simple, and yeah. easy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so, like, I see a few comments about Den Chiefs. I can't read them all. They're going by fast. But um, so, so yeah, you could print off, like, how to do with this particular game. There will be step-by-step -step instructions. So, yes, you could print off a, a, a little thing or 
if he has a phone, depending on his age, uh, they they could pull up the step by step instructions on how to do that game. Mm -hmm. Yep. So that's a good point. Um, you know, will it be will this be protected, or is this something that you know people can access? Can a den chief access this on his or her phone? Yes. No, okay. it's, it's it's through scouting.org on our website. It will be uh, live. Anybody can access this. Super mm -hmm. duper cool. Um, yeah. Everybody, you know, stay tuned because remember, this is it not, I don't want to say it's a phase one. It's well thought through. But again, it's all, it lives online. And like Audrey said, like these things can be built out. And we, you know, yes, you can print the pages. That would certainly be an option. You can always print you it. You could. It, I mean, we are developing <laughs> 1,300 uh, individual web pages to make this work for all of them. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, you know, that is an option for a person to do that. But I, I'm not sure that I would do that. I think I would plan but to you might you have know, a, print out maybe this week's or this exactly. month. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. If you know, you're or, spotted or not music. because the younger generations, honestly, that's, you know, a lot of the folks asking for that are maybe not of the generation we're serving because the younger ones don't want to be printing paper. They want it like on their phone. And, and easy to do this. I understand I see there some are feedback. exceptions. There are people who don't have internet and all that kind of thing. So those are exceptions. But the majority, um, it, they do want it just digitally uh, for this kind of material. They want the the youth to have the handbook. So the youth can have it in their hands. And it's also, you know, the, the, the requirements are all in the youth handbook. What isn't in there is all these cool activity cards. So that's the digital. Um, just want to reassure any leaders, like there are workarounds. If you're, you know, doing a den meeting in a basement, you can print out that activity for the day and, you know, still keep your, you, you can also bookmark these things so you can access them offline, potentially your screenshot on your phone, your tablet, what have you, you know that, and you will have a plan just saying, stay tuned because, you know, these things are evolving too. Right. Um, because the, the handbook, the youth facing handbook is printed and only printed. And um, it is, in, and it has the QR code in it. So the QR code in the youth handbook will get the adult directly to, directly to these these uh, leader resources, or they're not even leader resources; they're dead meeting resources. And um, but you can also go directly through the website. So there'll be two modes of of doing it. And the I see in some of the comments, yes, uh, the the handbooks, the youth handbooks are printed, and so all the requirements and the QR code are all printed. What is not printed are, is the web page with all the instructions, details, supply lists, activity cards, all the things. Very good. Well, that's not all in terms of resources for den leaders, right? No, no. So we have, um, well, that is a big one, actually. It's pretty <laughs> huge undertaking. Don't let me downplay it. <laughs> um, so there's, there and we'll get to it in our in our rollout chart, which we probably could even show now. There's there's uh, the the usual things that are all out there, which is like the leader specific training that is you know, that is online. There are um, uh, kind of how to find leaders and certain uh, sheets and things like that. Those are still still going to be they'll be updated, but still going to be there. So, but the bulk uh, where instead of carrying a you know a five inch notebook around, that's not gonna that's not gonna be there. So, but it's exciting and it'll be fun and it'll be super easy. And I think once people actually get to use it, they're going to be blown away. So we're, we're very excited. I'm excited to see it. I want to re repeat something you just said. Loretta is asking, can you make den leader resources available to all registered adults on the charter? Not just den leaders. I like to help with planning, but cannot get the information since I am. Right. And I, and I keep saying den leader resources because that's where it started, but uh, that is actually, I'm misspeaking. It's den meeting resources. So you do not have to be a registered leader. You do not have to, you do, you could be a parent. You could, like they talked about, you could be the den chief. Um, you could be the commissioner. You could be anybody coming in and getting these resources online. They're online and they're free. And so they, maybe, yeah. Can I also throw out like maybe your scout is sick. They're feeling better, but they are not ready to go to the den meeting. You could facilitate an activity at home with them that you know. Is oh, absolutely. In, in the younger grades of Cub Scouts, 100%, uh, uh, Cub Scout is a family activity and it can be completed at home. Um, cool. AOL, I believe, I believe it needs to talk with the uh, den leader and, and it's still possible to get that permission at that older age. But the younger grades, absolutely. In fact, like we talked about earlier, tigers and, and uh, wolf, or tigers and lions are <laughs> done with their adult partner. 
awesome. Very yes, cool. Absolutely. Absolutely. So on the rollout chart, I just want to highlight a couple things um, that we, we had. So so more good things are coming. We break, we're breaking this down into little chunks and then putting out resources. So if you didn't uh, see the last one on the Weeblos and Arrow of Light, which was the February 2nd, there's a, a chart online which describes the difference between current uh, mode and what's coming. And that's also available for the Scouts BSA leadership for Scoutmasters to take a look at. Um, there's also a video that's been produced um, by uh, the, the adults, the leader staff, <laughs> the directors of Cub Scouts and of Scouts BSA to kind of transition that with the, the Scouts BSA leadership. So that's all there. So go and take a look at that. If you, um, we're going to show the link in just a minute, but if you go to our website with the program updates, um, that, that gets you on the landing page, which has, thank you, thank you, Brian. The landing page, which has um, a, like an overview of their things. And then you click back to Cub Scouts. And that might be why some people are missing things. There's a back click. And then it has a section for every single one of these Cub Chat Lives that there's been resources um, released. And so there's a little bit of a write-up and then another chart that shows you that. So if you're just seeing the six and two chart, the rank advancement chart and the rollout chart, that's just the landing page. Go click one back and that gets you to uh, where some of the details are. Um, the other thing is we get a lot of comments lately. I, the councils have been briefed as in November and it's been continuing to be updated. Now we understand there are some small councils and folks that are strapped with, with staff and just really haven't had a chance to get to this. So if you are planning a, say a scouting university or some sort of event like that, you can ask your council for the information. And it's on the Teams channel and the Teams, like the, the software package Teams. Um, and it's called 000 Cub Scout Program Updates. And that's where they can find all of this information on the council level. Um, if you're planning a day camp, um, and, uh, those kinds of things, those that has all been released. The requirements for those folks has been released. So you can help help them find that <laughs> and if you're looking to see if you have that on your computer make sure you look under microsoft teams i know sometimes I look at applications and i look at teams and i'm like where did my teams go but it's, <laughs> exactly. it's under microsoft teams yes so so they have a whole channel dedicated to this on the staff side so they may need some help finding that or even logging in who knows um and that commissioners have also been been uh, briefed on this and they have a commissioner's facebook page that's been doing a really good job of of um, highlighting some of the the things that have been uh, released there as well. And um, the primetime episodes that happened in January, they are longer than these than this 30 minute cub chats. So they have a, a longer overview. So I would recommend starting there if you're just getting word that this is coming. Um, and uh, the but each of the individual cub chats have more details on a particular topic. So because you can devote a half an hour just to that topic. So then our upcoming ones, we're going to be talking about DEN and PAC meeting planning. And, and in some of our other shows, we showed you a teaser of how all that's going to be fabulous. So um, don't miss the next the next several before we hit to June 1st when it's released. And also just a reminder on those Cub Chat Live prime times, I feel like they're like your your like overall sampler platter. You get right. a really exactly. look at, at the updates coming out and um I'd say right. take, go back there, find a link to one of those. All three are very similar shows and share it, you, you know, have it handy. When people ask, I want more information about the, you know, Cub Scout updates. I often assume, hey, they're watching all the Cub Chat lives right along with me. But no, a lot of people don't know about them. So, you know, shoot them that link. And I find oftentimes people are like, oh, this is the information I was looking for. And you're covered. Right. Right. And on the, I didn't hit everything on the rollout chart because like all the tech is being updated, the online tools, scout book and online reports all being updated as of June 1st. So go live. Um, and the training leadership uh, specific training will be uh, in the May timeframe will be up and available. So um, each of those on the bottom are, are things that are being released and the cub chats on the, on the top blue bar are what we're going to be discussing. So both of those components together are a good sampling. Um, I agree. Sampler platter, largest uh, chunk of information is on the evening webinars. Um, and they're also archived on cub chat live, like you said, and then the, the little bit more of a detail blocks are during the, the daily cub chats, which are happening once a month. And, and then you can find all those things on our easy share. I call it easy share, but share your way. It's a link tree um, uh, page. And if you just type in at Cub Scout program updates, this is an easy way to share between many people 
Uh, you can either take that QR code to get there or type in at Cub Scout Program Updates. Gets you to the landing page, gets you to that second page that I told you about. It has the frequently asked questions, which has been updated um, uh, about a month ago. And then um, any, any new things that I release, any new charts are, are, are um, uploaded there after the Cub Chat. And then Cub Chat Live Archives, and they're also podcasts, so whichever way you want to hear it. So this is a great way to share information out to folks who haven't haven't heard about this yet. Fantastic. Yeah. And reminder, that means, you know, you go to somewhere like Spotify or Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to podcasts, head there. You can look up Cub Chat Live and you can share the same content that way. So, if, you know, some folks like to listen on their commute to work right. or drives right. or multitasking. Boy, I'm always listening to a podcast. So um, exactly. exactly one way to share. Awesome. Re roundup recap. We covered a lot. This was there are a lot of viewers, so obviously this is a subject of interest. Is there anything else you want our many viewers to know, Audrey? Um, it, it, <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, <laughs> just check those resources because there's a lot of the, the frequently asked questions. We get asked a lot of questions, and so there's a lot of answers on there. So I, I encourage that and and share this, tag people in this. Um, we're we've been doing this since October, and I keep hearing folks that have just heard about it. So this still needs a lot of folks tagged, a lot of folks uh, encouraged to hear what's coming up. And um, we're all very excited and just huge thank yous to the team who have been doing massive, unbelievable amounts of volunteer, volunteer work uh, to get this done, uh, 1300 pages. And then the tech teams um, professionally are handling the uploads and the, and the modifying and the, the formatting. So it is a huge team effort and unbelievable amount of work. A so large part of that monumental thank you definitely goes to you, Audrey. We really appreciate your work on this and your time <laughs> on many, many Friday afternoon to do Cub Chat Live with us. Great point on, you know, all our viewers, I encourage you to tag one person at least who you think could benefit from watching today's episode. Encourage you to check out past episodes of Cub Chat Live. Anything else, Audrey? No, that's it. I'm just excited for it. It's going to be awesome. It really is. Yeah. Now, ever since we said sampler platter, I've been thinking I need to go get a sampler platter appetizer. So <laughs> maybe it's time for that. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, thanks for tuning in. We will see you next Friday for another Cub Chat Live. Same time, same place you're watching now. We'll see you then. All right. Take care. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to catch next week's episode. Same time, same place. And let us know how we're doing at go.scoutingmagazine.org slash rate Cub Chat. We love feedback and ideas for new episodes. And you can visit blog.scoutingmagazine.org slash Cub Chat Live for all our past video episodes. You can see us live, except it's recorded, but it was live. Okay, see you next week. <laughs>